Bible School. Before we get started, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for being with us during the Vocation Bible School and helping us to learn some amazing things. Please be with this program. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So yes, Vocation Bible School was wonderful. We had our theme song, which is la 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 So we really enjoyed that theme song. And then we went to the marketplace where we learned a lot of things of how back in the days how they made stuff and how stuff was expensive back in the days. And we just learned so much in the marketplace. And then we went to the oasis which we was able to spend time with our friend Jesus. We was able to help ask him to help us to be devoted, help us to be brave, help us to be bold, help us to be caring, and help us to be generous. It was so wonderful. When we left there, we felt so refreshed, yes. And then we went to the arena where we were able to see all kind of different animals. My favorite was the donkey because remember in the Bible it's talking about a donkey and how Balaam was wanted to go forward and the donkey saw the angel and guess what? He's stopping and Balaam just hit it was hitting him, hitting him. And then donkey opened his mouth and said, Why are you hitting me? Why you know? So that was just amazing to see the donkey in the arena this week. And also after we left the arena. We went to listen to the stories of the five different heroes. Each night we had one hero that did something great. And then after that, we just did our song. And then we did our action point text, which it was, The Lord is our light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? The Lord is my salvation. Friend of my life, who shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 1. So that was just wonderful. Just to remember that the Lord is the one who strengthened us. So we should not be afraid of anybody. So we did that. And it was just wonderful. So now we're going to end up going to listen to the different stories of the brave boys and girls who was heroes. They did small things, but it ended up being the big thing. So remember, you're not too small to give your life to Jesus. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy the story for our wonderful boys and girls. Jesus is with me. Hey everyone, my name is Miriam. I am Moses' big sister. When Moses was just a baby, they had a decree to kill all of the baby boys. And Mama hide him for three months. But it was becoming hard to hide Moses because he cried so much. And finally somebody would have found him. So Mama decided with God's help to put him in a basket and I had to take him to the river. Yes, I placed my baby brother and I said a prayer over him, hoping and praying that someone would rescue him from that water. But he was saved because the basket covered him really good. So finally he went in that river and he landed where a princess heard his cry. And she went and she opened the basket and she saw a baby boy. She was so happy and I was so happy too. I went to the princess and I said, would you like me to find someone to nurse the baby? And she said, yes, I would love that. I run back home to mama and say, the princess has rescued Moses and she wants you to nurse the baby until he get old enough to live with her. And mama was so happy. She was so overjoyed that because she loved God and because I was being brave, mama was able to take care of Moses in peace and quiet. But 
but then she had to give back to Moses. But then Moses became a great man of God. And if we did not listen to God, where would the Israelite be? Because Moses was able to rescue them and help them. So remember, guys, to be bold. Sorry, to be brave, guys. Be bold was my friend. My friend, she was bold. Rosa was bold. But I'm brave, okay? And so, it just tells you guys, when you're being brave, then no matter what comes your way, with God, all things are possible. So be bold like Miriam, who able to save her baby brother because she wasn't scared to go to the princess and allow her mama to take care of the baby until he got bold enough. So, be bold. Be bold Jesus. Hello. My name is Kason, and my favorite Bible hero is Samuel. Samuel was a young prophet who was given back to God by Hannah, the priest. One day, uh, one night, when he went to bed, the person was calling his name. Samuel, Samuel, he said, God. At first, he thought Eli was God. Until he found out he was God. So Eli told Samuel, if you someone call your name again say speak for your service because that's what he did I chose Samuel because he was a for God's voice to pray to God God bless you and you shout shalom with me shalom. when I come to three shalom. one two three shalom very good. Hello. Very good. My name is Elvira, and I would like to welcome you back to Bethany, my hometown, right behind Miss Naomi. Thank you. This is the place where eras of the Bible are talked about. Very good. Jesus visited often with his friends who live right here in Bethany. His friends' names were Martha. Mary and Lazarus. They will always take good care of Jesus. All of us need taken care of. Jesus did even Jesus. I like to be taken care of and I like to take care of others. Boys, do you like to take care of others? Yes. Yes? Oh, okay, no. let me hear you. Very good. Today we are going to continue talking about era in the Bible that did small things. I was gonna pray for it. But they made a great big difference. Yeah. Kids just like you. All right. Hey, Mom, I'm pray for I am glad. I am glad you I am glad you came back to another exciting era. Today, we are going to learn a new action point and key verse from the Bible. Jesus. Hello, my name is Nathan. My favorite Bible hero is Nora. Nora was a young seven girl who took care of Nathan. Although her heart was broken, she still served Nathan and took care of him. I, I like Nora because she was caring and she loved the Lord. Do, do you remember the action point from yesterday? I'm sure you do. Let's do it together. Be caring. Jesus be caring. caring. Jesus. Your heart. Be caring. be caring. Jesus is with us. Jesus with us. All right. Good job. Nora. Our Bible hero from yesterday did something very small that made a big difference. She was caring, and that's make her a hero. God wants us to be bold enough to speak up for him. We may feel like adults may not take us serious. If we do not speak up, 
but God wants us to use our voices for him. This means when you have an idea, share it. When you have a song, sing it. When you, when you are having a thought, speak it. You are never, never too young to speak up for God. Today, our Bible hero is about a little girl named Rhoda. She was bold. She Be bold! Jesus. Hey guys, welcome to VBS Heroes, making a big difference in small ways. I am here to share a story about a girl named Rhoda, a servant girl who was once called mad. Rhoda was a servant girl from Mary, mother of Mark. She was willing to serve long nights and late hours working at their home. One night, Peter came to the gate. King Herod persecuted the Christians at this time because he did not want anybody to worship their God. Peter was going to get killed, so he seeked shelter. When Peter knocked at first, Rhoda came to the door. Instead of opening the door to let Peter in, when she had heard Peter's voice, she ran her and told her family how Peter stood before the gate. They called her mad and weird but she knew that Peter was there and not in prison. They finally came to the door and were astonished and shocked. Peter told the family how God had brought an angel to help him escape prison. God used Rhoda as a hero to help Peter when others did not believe. I want to find more ways to be generous, don't you? I can't wait to hear about Jesse. A Bible hero for today. Be I wonder what generous. Happened. Jesus is with me. Sitting at Jesus' feet was amazing. Listening to every word that he was saying it was refreshing to my soul. I enjoy every minute of it. I forgot that I was even hungry. The disciple turned to Jesus and said, It's getting late. Send them away so that they can get something to eat. Jesus said, No, you need to sit them down. Jesus saw a young man named Jesse. And he decided to go up to Jesus and say, It's coming to me. Um, I only have enough for me and me alone. And Jesus said that he gave it to the basket. Then I gave it to the basket. The basket. Then he multiplied it and turned it into a thousand for the people to eat. And remember to be generous. So always be generous. Because Jesus loves you. I enjoy all those wonderful boys and girls telling you those wonderful stories. Now, I have a little game for all of you at home. Ready? All right. Who was the little girl in day one that was brave? She was so brave, she went up to that princess to say, do you want me to find somebody who can nurse that baby until he gets a little older? And that princess said, yes, I would love that. She was brave and she waited until somebody came and got her brother. Yes, did you say Miriam? Yes, Miriam was brave. And you can be brave also. Okay, our second day, number two. This boy, he was devoted, devoted to God and willing to hear. He heard a voice, Samuel. Oh man, I just gave you the clue. My bad. Well, yes, it is Samuel. Samuel listened to the Lord and he listened. He could say, Lord, I'm tired. Please let me go back to sleep. We'll talk later. I mean, I'm trying in the middle of a dream and he just disturbed me from my dream, but he didn't do that. He listened to God and he obeyed. So let us be devoted like Samuel. All right, day number three. This girl was caring. She was very caring. She loved to care for her master. 
Her master was sick and she wanted him to get well and she heard of a man who knows Jesus and this she said master I know somebody you need to go to him and he told this man to go into the river and dip seven times and the man went in there one two three oh nothing really I have to be in this dirty water nothing all right, don't stop. Four, five, six, seven. Woo! I am healed. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so who was the girl? Did you guess Nora? You're right. It was Nora. She was so caring. She was a servant girl, but she cared for her master, and she led him towards his healing. She was a hero. All right, day number four. So now, this girl, she was bold. Are you bold? I hope so. She was bold. She was ready to say, guess what? Who's at the, Peter is knocking on the door. Peter is knocking on the door. They just kept on ignoring her thing when she was just, but she kept on going until they eventually finally realized that Peter was actually at the door. You know, so that was amazing. Who was that girl? Did you guess Rhoda? Yes, Rhoda was wonderful. She was in there. She was the one who would answer the door and open it for people. So you can be bold, just like her. Can you sing? Sing a song. Can you, are you good at speaking? Speak. Allow the Lord to use you. Be bold, whatever you can do. All right, day number five. Woo -woo. All right. Be generous. Are you generous? I hope so, because being generous is so great. When somebody don't have something, you will say, here you go. So he was very generous. He went prepared. He had his food because he's like, look, I'm going to be hungry. His mom was like, you're going to be hungry, you know, so you're going to need something. So he had his basket with fish and bread and Jesus was there. He was just listening to Jesus and after all that, everybody was hungry and he had only food and Jesus saw him and he gave it to Jesus and said, here you go. When he gave it to Jesus, Jesus was like, okay, we can do something. Jesus prayed, and wow, his food multiplied. It was small, but cheese, when you put it in Jesus' hand, guess what? It becomes a miracle. So who was that boy who was generous? Did you guess Jesse? Yes. Jesse was very generous. He was so generous that he was willing to give up his food just for Jesus. He was satisfied because he heard all the sweet things that Jesus had to share. So he was just so happy. So he shared everything. And you can also be generous. So remember, boys and girls, be brave. Be devoted. Be caring. Be bold. Be generous, yes, because God wants us and he's with us. So when we be these, when we actually do those things, God is with us. So we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be scared. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 1. So remember, boys and girls, and everyone, that the Lord is with you and you can be bold. You can be devoted. You can be caring. You can be everything that God wants you to be. Step out in faith, just like Rhoda, just like Miriam, just like Samuel, just like Jesse. Just like Nora, be bold, courageous, and do what God will have you to do with his strength. We enjoy you 
all. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for going on a journey with us at our vocational Bible school. It's end, but we are going to go forward and we are going to press on through. The Lord bless you and keep you until we see you again. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Vacation Bible School. Thank you so much for my team. That was wonderful. That was great. Thank you so much for every blessing. Help all the boys and girls and help everyone who was able to see what we did at Vacation Bible School. Thank you, Almighty God. Rain down your spirit over everyone. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Thank you so much for joining us. And I want to say a special thanks to my, my team because if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't be so great. So my team, my team was Sister Mart Seely, Sister Dina, and Naomi. Yes, they was wonderful and the precious kids that make it all happen. So be blessed and know that God is in control. Until next time. Try to imagine the sound of water lapping up. I can't wait to hear about this. Our Bible hero for today. Forget the motion. Let's stand up and do our action point. Be generous. Be generous. Jesus is with me. Oh,